seventh day of October. I'm going to be your host tonight. I'm Dana Durnford. Hope everybody's doing well, except for Israel and the nuclear industry, of course. <laughs> That's what it's saying. Consider subscribing. Hit the bell and all that other shit. None of it works, but hey, it's entertaining, right? Yeah, Israel wars, blah, blah, wars, wars. Here's a Israeli soldier. I think this was 2015. Uh, cast led Operation Cast led. Remember that? In Israel, Palestine. Uh, I killed 13 Palestinian kids today. And the media is like, wow, that's pretty cool, man. Zero, zero common sense is the best way to describe that friggin' place. It's the fourth biggest producer of miseries, uh, fourth biggest producer of weapons on the entire planet. My apologies. To anybody in the misery machine, I might offend at that time. So where's the headlines? Let's look at some of the headlines. Uh, crazies. Uh, we are at war, said uh, the Benjamin Netanyahu. War outbreaks. Well, Palestinians don't have jet fighters. They don't have helicopters. They don't have the drones. And the ones Israel got are just as good as helicopters and jet fighters. Um, Palestinian doesn't have 4,000 tanks to shoot 155 millimeter depleted uranium rounds, which, by the way, used to be called dull ram, not depleted uranium. Depleted uranium, low-level radioactive material with fission product. And Israel being the fourth biggest producer of weapons on the planet, uh, Palestine is basically where they practice their newest, latest, greatest misery machines. They got, who's going to rat out Israel, right? Nobody cares about Palestine. There's five million Palestinian, Palestinian refugees. Five million. And a lot of them are living in concentration camps on top of that. Five million. Five million. That's something in it. I killed 13 Palestinian kids. Israel settlers assault a Palestinian woman. Uh, I think that's a little bit worse than assaulting. They actually got, this was 15 years ago or something, they had over a million ultra orthodox Jews, the, the actual headbangers. All they read is the Torah and, and uh, Talmud, right? Which promotes Israel version. UN watchdog documents Israel forces abuse of Palestinian children. I'll take you back to the time machine because to call this, Israel calls it a war, we're on our war, and the Canadian government is running around to protect all the synagogues, and Hamas, let's talk about Hamas for a second. There's 10,000 Hamas, right? And so that's been justified to create 5 million refugees. They, they keep the 5 million refugees out of Palestine, no problem at all. They can't seem to kill a single Hamas in all these wars. This is quite a stretch when you ain't got a navy, you ain't got a military, you got land, sea, and air embargoes for decades. You can't even import hairbrushes. You can't import coloring books for the children. That's called collective punishment on top of that. I just don't want to walk you through this bizarre creature known as the military in Israel, using Palestinian kids as human shields. 
they they despise the children. It's really something. Well, they can't. They don't got no one to fight. That's who they're fighting is the children. They got most of the adults are in Palestinian concentration camps outside of Palestine. And of course, the emblematic wall that they built. Israel gets away with murder constantly. The crimes against the Palestinians is unrelenting. The whole country hates Palestine. You'll see that coming up. That's been acknowledged many times. U.S. reports confirms Israel has leased 80 nuclear warheads. Just how many warheads does Palestine have? Who's going to give Palestine nuclear weapons so they can protect themselves from stupid military industrial complex? The fourth biggest weapons producer on the planet. That's, that's how they make most of their money in in Israel by producing nothing but misery. Israel minister vows Palestine Holocaust. And uh, they followed through on it over and over and over. This is a result of the 155 millimeter depleted uranium rounds. It basically takes uh, 300, 300 uh, foot, like a football field pitch and everything's in it, it'll turn it into a projectile that will wreck everything within three football pitches. And these 155 millimeter depleted uranium munitions they're using, which is just one of the many DU rounds they've used, uh, are pyrophoric, so they catch fire as you're going through the air, and it disperses this incredible amount of radioactivity all the way there at and it's liquefied when it finally gets there. And so it does some incredible damage. And so all this uranium dust gets all over the clothes and, and the bedding and the blankets. And so when the victims, and they are victims, they don't got 4,000 tanks, they don't got jet fighters, they don't got a Navy, they don't got uh, every country on the planet donating to them. They don't have land, sea, and air embargoes against them. Israel is king of the hill, right? It has everything it could ever hope for. And so greedy, it has everything else, too. And so when the families, the victims, go back into their homes, because they attack the residential, they don't kill Hamas. They never kill Hamas. They always attack the residential, particularly new buildings in the areas they want to take over later. And, and so it covers it with depleted rain, where children will go pick up their toys, and, and the parents will pick up utensils and stuff like that and poison the children. Wadi Masweda in the orange t-shirt has just been caught throwing a stone. He is five years old. In this video shot by the human rights organization Betselem, he is being detained by Israeli soldiers. Local Palestinians try to intervene. But how are you going to intervene against a military industrial complex that has invaded your country and has nothing but contempt, actual contempt. It's not trying to look for resolutions or peace, it's, con it's nothing but contempt for everybody there. And the rule is supposed to be 12 years and over before you can detain them, which is despicable, by the way, even then. But that doesn't stop them from being completely unreal. Sterilized Palestinian people, pro-nuclear scum degenerate rights, Children detained by Israel army as young as six years old. That's a new trend, apparently. Palestinian children, children, actual children, works with the Israeli settlements to do the labor that, uh, because the Orthodox Dox Jews don't do anything only attack Palestinians and scream, dear God's chosen one. So, uh, so Hamas, right, is obviously created by Israel, allowed to reside in order to, to demonize and vilify the victims of Palestine. And you can see it in just a constant rhetoric, like, I killed 14 Palestinian children today. They're not attacking Hamas, they're attacking the victims of society that they created themselves. And the palace, uh, Israeli goes to back to or goes to Israel the first time to get fifty thousand dollars. 
It's a pretty big incentive. And they can buy cheap Palestinian land with some of that, rent it out to the Orthodox Jews. And so these machines, they got like four, th well, they did. They got a lot more now, I'm sure. But around 4,000 of these tanks. You know how many of these tanks that Palestine has? None. The only people there that has weapons. Now, this is the typical rocket from Palestine, barely, uh, barely kills the car. But this is what Israeli's weapons do. It's, it's quite a discrepancy, you might think. Hamas rockets that are completely irrelevant and Israeli machines. And so, like, even, you know, I'd be very cautious about calling this a war because uh, Israel is not above attacking themselves to blame it on Hamas or blame it on somebody to want to attack. And as far as I can tell, after all these years, Hamas is their go-to for the demonization machine. Citing a holocaust, which is what they've done to Palestine over and over and over, perpetually. Israel demands strict regulations of anti-war protests in Europe back in 2014, when there were protests in the latest, greatest. Prescott condemned over a Gaza concentration camp description. How, how else would you describe that besides a concentration camp, actually? <laughs> really, like, let's be honest. Israel also has an incredible amount of directed energy weapons. Look at these dirty bombs. These are dirty bombs they're firing off in Gaza. Gaza is just this little tiny strip Israel just kept chipping away at it till there's nothing left. When genocide is permissible, I'm not sure there's a Torah or Talmud doctrine. I'm not going to try to read it, but you don't need to show any proof. You just got to suggest that it's acceptable and the Israelis will be happy to accommodate them. So how, how can... The Pal uh, Israelis looked themselves in the face when they have this incredible amount of weapons. It's, it's not a war. It's, it's a shooting fish in a barrel, right? The Palestinians can't run anywhere. They got nowhere to go. They have nowhere to hide. Now remember, guys, no logic, understanding or respect for international law. Round a gazillion, right? Genocide permissible in Gaza. This is the times of Israel, for goodness sakes. I thought uh, genocide wasn't permissible anywhere, anytime. Particularly against a country that's not armed. Hamas might have some weapons, but the Palestinians don't, and that's what they're killing. How many of these kids had a weapon, I wonder, that he shot that day? How many days did he have like that, I wonder? To show uh, alleged children killed or used for him, human shields in Gaza, but it was actually a video from Syria. You know, that's your typical Hamas weapon. I think this year they're a bit bigger, are they? But Israel has always been ruthless. And, and it sure looks like false flag staged events so they can justify trying out their latest, greatest weapons. Gaza dead children kept in ice cream freezers. And none of the stuff I said to you about Israel, headlines being barbarians, have we seen applied to the Palestinians. UN warns half a million are now homeless. They sing their version of it. Everybody's great. Wave our flags, claim patriotism. Why don't you go down and tell the victims, the children, the, 
the ones, the loved ones who have lost family members, how wonderful Israel is, and justify it by claiming that Hamas, you got five, f five million refugees for decades. You can keep out, but you can't get a single Hamas for some reason. You can blow up every apartment building in Palestine, but you can't get a single Hamas. Face it, you're pieces of shit. You're scumbags. You're degenerate scumbags. Look yourself in the mirror once in a while and remind yourself that you're a bunch of degenerate scumbags because that's what you are. So you can mourn, but nobody else can mourn. Only, only you can feel pain, right? Think about how twisted you got to be to have that. And that's the uh, Orthodox Jews. They got no problem joining the military for the conflicts. Then they want out. Concentrate and exterminate Israel Parliament. Parliament, Deputy Speaker, and the Gaza genocide plans. It always seems to come to fruition, doesn't it? I'm just sick of it. I'm sick of the evil, insidious, monstrous routines that we see every couple of years. And uh, Benjamin Netanyahu seems to have quite the thirst for this, doesn't he? And you can't rebuild their homes because you have land, sea, and air embargoes against them. You can't get medicine because you have land, sea, and air embargoes against them. Against them. They're going to grow up and be big Palestinians and want some freedom. We can't, can't have that. Let's exterminate them. That's all we get from these. They're the fourth biggest weapon producer on the entire planet. Misery, right? That's all they do. They produce misery. They're exceptionally good at it. Pal that's a Palestinian rocket. And that's a Israel. I can't tell the difference. Can you tell the difference? No, that's, don't worry, he's not Israel. Israel never looks like that. Palestinian always looks like it. And Israel's just being Israel. Got to be a piece of shit every once in a while and justify it with their ideology, with their book, their books. Would they go to war against Palestine if Palestine had 4,000 tanks? Would they go to war against Palestine if Palestine had the same amount of jet fighters and white phosphorus? That's a Palestinian. That's an Israeli. You know, Palestinian. You got nothing to lose. You got nothing to lose. And you got everything to gain. You got everything to gain. And when you have no... There is no accountability. There's no incentive not to be evil. Guess what fucking happens? Like, this is why phosphorus over the neighborhoods. They didn't burn Hamas. They burned the children. They burned the victims of society. Benjamin Netanyahu, I, one of the interesting things about him, he had a son, I remember, I think it was the first time he was elected. He had a son who was 15 years old and was able to recite the entire Torah. And this is how, I'm assuming anyway, this is how he justified a lot of his actions because you can ask his son who can recite on demand the justification according to their ideology. And when you got like Drudge Report demonizing the Palestinians and you got nobody saying, wait a fucking second. And like the, one of the most revolting types of pictures, and I see a lot of that in the last decade or so, where the Palestinian soldiers during the war will send out pictures like this. They're, they're, they're nice and pretty and everybody in Palestine are scum, so it's justified to kill them. If Palestine was the world's fifth biggest weapon producer, 
and Israel was the fourth biggest weapons producer, you know what would happen? There'd be no fucking war. The only reason Israel's going there is because they can't fight back. Israel is using this against the children and the neighborhoods. <laughs> How many times Mark Zuckerberg went down and told the Palestinians to have a great day? And the Golden Heights, right? They evac, they, they bomb the shit out of it, drive all the Palestinians out, and then they build all these luxury apartments, right? for themselves. You know, Iran has 49 military bases around, the U.S. military bases. How the hell are they going to go to war against anybody? These people don't have jet fighters, they don't have tanks, they don't have battleships, they don't have intelligence agencies, they don't have a huge funded military industrial complex like this sack of shit does. There's their enemy, children. Israel facing a major West Bank uprising. These are all old headlines, old pictures, but they're all, it never changes. It doesn't matter that it's old, it's the same. It's never changed. Israel facing major West Bank uprising over Palestinian hunger strikes, crime of the century, eh? lock you up with no charges, and you go on hunger, and then they just stick a hose down your throat. We're the fourth biggest weapons producer. Of course, that's what we're going to do. We have everybody in that country is desensitized, is well indoctrinated after decades of propaganda nonstop. And if that don't work, you got the crazies, the headbangers, the ultra-orthodoxic Jews always lurking in the nearest background. Israeli, again, even now, is targeting the media right away. That's what they do. They don't know how to do anything else. Warns of Armageddon. They're so quick, aren't they? And the Jewish groups gets the most money from the federal security. Jimmy Carter claimed Israel created the catastrophic situation. There's an understatement of a, of a million years. What a revolting sack of shit he turned out to be, didn't he? How many Palestinians look like that? Oh, that's right, none. How many Israels look like that? Everyone that's over 18. How many, Pal how many white phosphorus has Palestine thrown at Israel? Mm, oh, yeah, that's an easy one, none. How many is Israel thrown at Palestine? Too many to count. These are true crimes against humanity we're talking about. You don't even need to. And I said, I just caught what was going on. I was on, yeah, really, again. And I was predicting this when I seen Benjamin scumbag Netanyahu got elected again, heinously, the heinous attack on Israel, another war crime perpetrated. All the, and that's Global Mail, of course, they'll, they'll cut anybody's throat for a dollar. Israel, the apartheid, that's, that's being pretty polite, actually. And the revolting pictures from the Israeli soldiers. Uh, they, you know where they, these big tanks, they'll get them up on the hills in Israel. And families will go out and sit there and watch the shells being fired at Gaza with wine and dancing. And let's not forget now, they got the suicide drones. So maybe they got a new fleet of suicide drones they want to try out and they need a war, right? So, well, it's not a war. A war is where both sides have weapons. We need to flatten entire neighborhoods in Gaza. That was the son of former Israel Prime Minister Ariel Sharon. Op, gets to write an op-ed. Media plugs it. 
How many Israelis are in Palestinian jails? Oh, that's right, none. How many are in Israel jails? There are full of them, right? I looked the wrong way. The world condemns Israel over Gaza massacre, and they all went back to sleep. Remember the flotilla, the big flotilla event a number of years ago? Israel was, like, they might have weapons, so we better go there and beat the shit of everybody on the peaceful ship. And that's what they've done. The U.S. send warships to in case Israel needs to be evacuated, which is the stupidest thing imaginable. You got the world's biggest, fourth biggest weapons producer. They can fend for themselves. Palestinians can't. How can the Palestinians stop the jet fighters and the military industrial complex? How does that actually work? I think that's appropriate, war through deception. That's, that chalks it up for Israel, doesn't it? How can you smile when you're destroying so many people's lives? It's something I can't quite figure out, like something I can't quite reconcile. I don't think I'm supposed to. What Israel is doing, I condemn it strongly too. It's outrageous that anybody participating in that in Israel can call themselves defenders. You're the aggressor and you have been for decades. Try being honest with yourself. I know you can't do it with anybody else, but do it with yourself once. Take a look from the other side of the fence. Take care.